All right, back over to the H body. Let's get you an update on that one, huh? We're basically kind of bouncing back and forth. It's going to be an H body update and then a Ranger update. Why? Because well, they're both in the damn garage at the same time. Um, Adam's been kind of plugging away on this one um, since we've got the cage finished up. Adam, how we doing? Before I bolt these on there, do you want these or you want the? Of course not. Bounce. Okay. That's why I didn't put them on there yet. Doing good. Making stuff look pretty again. Moved our pumps up. Instead of being on the ground, I got it up here. It, yes, there is a piece of electrical tape on there right now, but it's actually mounted, wired, and secured there. Um, got our wiring here. That's attached to the fuel lines. And that actually all comes down, wired to the floor there, keep it from bouncing around. All taped, nice and good. Negative here, positive here, which actually runs up to the very first original goose box that was ever made. I told him to mount that thing on a shelf somewhere and just leave it, but... Nah, he it's, wants to use it. It's been buried underground in the snow for a whole season. We didn't know even where it was. And then we found it, chipped it out of the ice, and it still works. Yeah. So, props to us in yeah. America. Well, we'll hope that that, uh, that switch lasts. Okay, yep. so. Just in case it doesn't, I always make these wires where you can yank them out and twist them together. Yep. I've done that a couple times. Never ended up being a problem, but... Right now, temporarily, everything just runs over the dash. Yeah, ignore that. Um, none of our prom promoters will actually allow that. Um, we have to run it through... The firewall. So, Which sometimes it's safer to do it that way than through the firewall because Yahoo's like to saw a big hole in the firewall and then you got jagged edges everywhere. Yeah, personally, I know um, one of the other YouTubers out there runs his over the dash all the time. And As a matter of fact, uh, the Cavalier you just won in had him running over the dash because if you recall, we had to put foam noodles around them in Lodi the first time I ran it. They said just put something around it. We used hmm. red vinyl and foam noodles. All right. So, I'd prefer to run that way, honestly, because I mean, when we move the hood forward, there's really not a whole lot that I feel is going to get to them, but... Oh, there's that special tape I was looking for earlier. Some, oh, hey, perfect. Some promoters are old, and they feel like they have old rules, and they must make sense, because they're old, so they'll stick with being old, and we're going to leave it at that. So, a little bit of progress up here. Battery's moved. Um... Wires put together. We still got to move the computer. Broke this other fan out of there, because it was a pain um get the ac lines out yep ac lines cut moved that's um, cleaned up a few lines right there and right there. there and we'll tie those together kind of pull them back out of the way yeah they're under the strut bar they're pretty safe i mean overall should be yeah. fairly good there um got a hole um that we'll probably have to do something about right oh, yeah. there um but that's all right so Making progress on the H body. Uh, what's the next step, Adam? Um, I'm going to finish up putting our ground to the frame right there and our little one up to the top. And then I want to get this plastic cowling off the front because that's going to get us ready to drop our bolts out and get our all thread run through there. So once we got that, we zip the radiator in, move the computer, and she's pretty much ready to rock and roll. Yeah, this one's getting to a point of um, it's got a bunch of crap in the back since we put all the crap from inside in the back. Because it used to be in a big pile, and now there's a ranger where there used to be a big pile. So now we've got all this stuff back here just behind the car that's going to go into my next dumpster car, which will be here in a couple days. Uh, we'll load all that up, get that out of here. We do still have to fix the control arm on the left rear, so we'll try to get a video of doing that. It's not Wait something I've second. ever done. What? Is that a mosquito? Holy smokes. Oh, I think I squished him that time. Guys, it's like... It's 28 degrees outside it's when I got here. probably so it's less than that. that. It's like 20 degrees outside, and we found a damn mosquito. He's probably living in this car. Wow. Wisconsin State Bird. Adam just killed it. Screw that thing. <laughs> oh, we're at 4 minutes and 10 seconds. So we call this one a video, or should we wait until... What are we going to do next? We're going to get the front cut off. We'll get the front cut off, and then... And then fire it up. Yeah, ooh. We should fire it up. Let me finish my wiring. You rip this front off. Then we'll fire it up. <laughs> After word from what? What do they say? After word from these sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. One Goose Garage, so One Goose Vinyl Company, Heath Enterprises. <laughs> Just blanking. Mansfield It'll be right here. All right. Fat guy's hungry, so we're calling her a day. Interiors coming along in pretty good shape. Goose box, is it over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's underneath the bar there. Goose box is right there. Battery's just sitting in here. We haven't put a tray in it yet, but we'll get there. Adam's got the wires all pretty. 
Let's see, up front. Ooh, it got shorter. Which actually did give us a lot more room for working up here. Decent amount of space. You can see we got some tubing sitting there that we'll cut down. That'll be our bumper shock at some point. Got a lot of the wiring cleaned up. Obviously got the bumper cut off. What's left? We moved our ground. It's up there now. Adam, what's left? Move the coil packs. Yep. Get That's... those mounted up there pretty much underneath that strut bar, I'd yeah, say. Those guys are a concern, so we'll get those moved. Still got to move the computer. It's still sitting over here. We got a beautiful foam noodle on top of our radiator. Oh, yeah. That's because the hood hits it right now. Yeah, right now the hood sits on it, so I've got to figure out what's going on with that. For some reason, it I feel like it sticks up higher than it did when I first bought this car, so... Did we jack it up from there or something? Who knows? It's possible. We'll figure it out. We'll get that going back down uh, so the radiator sits in there a little bit better. But we're going to call this an update on the H-Body. You want to fire her up? Give her a whirl. Make sure it is growing up enough. That's true. We've done this enough times. We didn't even try it. <laughs> we'll hope that it's uh... all right. Fuel. That's working. Headlights. Oh, hey. Hold on. Da -na 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 -na. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, we we've been out here too long. Fire. Up. Ooh. I'd say she's ready to be a derby car. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Good deal. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Uh, what's next? We will give you an update on something. We gotta come up with some tubing, so we'll figure out some options. Because um, I'm starting to run out. I think I have enough tubing. We might be able to do the cage in the Ranger. Um, but we need to come up with a bumper for this. So as many bumpers as I have, I should really probably pick one and just use it. I think we uh, still got some caddy bumpers, don't we? Some soft ones. With we've got at least one caddy on. bumper. We've got all those ones that we got from Billy. I mean, we got that are yeah, all in the eagle. That might be a little overkill for mid-sized cars. Nah, that'd be fine. If we got a junk, it might as well junk her good. <laughs> uh, any word of wisdom? Uh, yes. When you go to move your coil packs, they're grounded at some point underneath here on this plate so make sure you run some extra grounds back to the plate and you do need to replace your first these three plug wires because they got to be longer to go to the back we're, we're used to doing that by now but just don't forget that if you go to moving those because i hate for people to yank it apart and then realize you don't have all the parts to put it back together so good deal we'll see you all on the next video appreciate you following along as always get goosed